Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the Castle Girl. Hales Castle is a hall and tower house castle and is one of Scotland's oldest stone-built castles. Hales Castle is situated just outside the small village of East Linton, which is about five miles east of Haddington in East Lothian. It was strategically built on a small cluster of rocks on the banks of the River Tyne. This blocked access from the north. It also had a deep moat, which would have defended attack from the south. The first fortified towers were built in the late 13th century, about 1290, by the Northumbrian knights, the de Gourleys. They constructed a fortified manor house using red sandstone. It had a mid two-storey hall block with a tower at each end. The first fortified towers, built in the late 13th century, about 1290, by the Northumbrian knights, the de Gourleys. The de Gourleys are from County Durham, and the castle has similarities in design to those south of the border. During the War of Scottish Independence, the de Gourleys supported the English, and this led to their land being forfeited in 1343 to Sir Adam de Hepburn. He was also Northumbrian, and the Earl of Dunbar, who had charter of the land from David II. The Hepburns also accrued other lands in the kingdom and were granted the earldom of Bodwell. Over time, during the 15th century, Sir Patrick Hepburn, it is thought, extended to and added to the castle. He built a huge tower to the west of the main building and a smaller one to the east. He built a chapel and a new curtain wall which formed a large north range on the banks of the Tyne. The remains of the curtain wall that we see today may well date back to the 13th century. Hales was in an important position between the roads from Edinburgh to England. It had several sieges and attacks upon it, during the 15th and 16th centuries. In 1443, Archibald Dunbar, an English defender, massacred the residents due to the resistance of the garrison. It was badly damaged by fire in 1532 by an invading army and again damaged in 1544. In July 1547, Sir John Borthwick was made Keeper of the Castle. He promised to give it back to the Regent Arran, James Hamilton at the time, but not the Hepburns. After the Battle of Pinky Clue in September, Lord Grey of Wilton occupied the castle for the English cause, but Arran retook the castle in 1548. He had the iron gates removed to ensure no further use for the English military. The fourth Earl of Bothwell, James Hepburn, further renovated and refined the castle. On May the 5th, 1567, Mary Queen of Scots spent the night here with James at Hales. This was after he forcefully abducted her and controversially became her third husband later that month. The marriage shocked Mary's Catholic supporters as they didn't recognise his previous divorce. The Protestants were also in disbelief as Hepburn was the main suspect in the murder of her second husband, Lord Henley Darnley, in February of that year. Hales Castle was then forfeited by the Hepburns after James fled in exile after the Battle of Carberry Hill in June 1567. Mary was also taken captive and was imprisoned for the rest of her life. Hales was destroyed as a royal residence 
by Oliver Cromwell's armies against Charles I in the 1650s during the Battle of Dunbar. It changed hands thereafter from the Stuarts to the Setons and then bought by the Dalrymple family. It has since been in the care of the state since 1926 after being bequeathed by Arthur Balfour, the Prime Minister at this time. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye.